All right, hello, my name is Robert, and we're going to be talking about editing your paint or skin uh, for your iRacing car in Photoshop. iRacing has a great tutorial uh, on their website, and I'll make sure there's a link to it with this video, on how to custom paints. It's where to get your file, how to download it, what to save it as, what to call it, where to upload it to, uh, to get it to work. So we're not going to cover any of that. Visit that video. It's like five minutes. It's awesome. Watch it. Um, but basically, you're in the iRacing UI, you go to your car uh, and you select paint and it's going to open up the, the customized car section. And right above the main image of your car is download car template. And that will download a Photoshop file, uh, usually a zipped file that inside is a Photoshop file that you can edit. Now, do not download car templates with a plural up top because that's all of your cars. Uh, we're just going to start with one. Uh, and we're going to start with the Global MX-5 Cup car. So we're going to basically in this video look at the Photoshop layers, what's inside of here to help you get started. Um, I'll do another video that's more about specifically editing in here. But let's look at the layers. So the layers right here, my palette called layers, uh, off to the right. Uh, the first one is custom spec map, um, which we aren't going to do, even though I said that's what we're going to do, uh, because they do have like a 30 plus minute video on YouTube from iRacing on editing your spec map. And your spec map uh, basically is the reflectivity or shininess or matteness of your car. So if you want a shiny metallic look or a flat matte finish, um, you do that with the spec map. And again, that's a separate video. Check that out. Maybe I'll put a link to that at the bottom of this one. Um, what we are gonna look at are the bottom two layers, turn off before exporting and paintable area. Um, and turn off before exporting is what it sounds like. It's more um, helper files and information really isn't that critical to the look of your car. So let's take a look at that though, because it's really useful for us. For example, the first one is wire. Turn that on, turn layers on or off in Photoshop by clicking the little box next to it with the little eyeball. Let's take a look at this. And what this is, is the basically contours of the body panel of your car. Now turning this on helps us in a couple ways. Um, and let's zoom in. One is it helps us see what's what on the car body panel. Uh, and here's a great on the side, a great example. You can see the contours of where the door handle goes. Well, obviously, I don't want to put a graphic right in the middle of that because there's going to be a door handle on top of it. I can also, at the wheel wells, see where it starts to bend in or curve in. So, again, putting a graphic there may get distorted. Um, it also helps us figure out what's what when we're looking at it. So, for example, we've got one side of the car. We've got another side of the car. We can see the tail here up top. Um, next to it, we can see the trunk and uh, the hood, right, and then the, the front banner and the front of the car. Um, those are the major parts of the car. Pretty easy to figure out. Let's zoom in just so we can just so we can walk through real quick. So there's your back trunk of the car. Um, we can see the contour of the trunk. We can also see so some of these side contours right underneath it. That's the contour that goes up and above the license plate. So if you don't paint that in, then you don't you know color that section. This contour right here where the tail lights go, that's the contour where the bumper bends in and it kind of wraps around your tail lights. And again, here's the trunk and then the contour right below it. That's the back side of the trunk. So that's what, you know, again, if you want your whole trunk painted, um, paint both, both those contours. Side of the car, pretty obvious. The hood. Uh, and also another thing with the contour lines, it, it helps you position things, right? So I can see where the bends of the hood are. I can see the center line running down the hood. So if you want a, a logo dead center, you, you've got some guides to help you position it. Um, the top banner. Uh, and that sort of thing. I can see, for instance, where the air ducts or intakes and, and where the, the side lights are and the, the grill and all that for the front bumper so I can position stuff accordingly. I can even see where uh, the tow hook goes, right, uh, on the bumper. I'm not sure what these ones here on the bottom are, um, but we'll talk about more about that on previewing. One of, the, one of the ways to do it is just paint it bright pink or, you know, lime green or something that's really going to stand out in your car finish and then preview. And you're like, oh, the thing that's bright pink is, is what that is little technique for doing that and then oh down here the eye racing that's your that's your license plate so if you want to put something on your license plate you know thanks workers you know whatever you want to put in there you can do that uh, on your license plate and oh and up here by your rear bumper that's your license plate frame uh, that you can see so some cool things uh, that you can paint now the other thing the wire shows us is the green line around the body panels and this is important because that's all iRacing cares about 
Uh, when you export this, you're going to export a Targa file. It's a flat file. There's no layers. So it doesn't matter how many layers or how you're organized or what they're called. It's just flat pixels when iRacing gets this. And the only pixels it cares about are what's inside of those green lines. So I can take my paintbrush and do that. And it doesn't matter because that's not inside of a green line. iRacing is not going to look at it and it's not going to wind up on my car. The next layer uh, below wire uh, is mask. And all mask is is kind of a helper look. And let me zoom back out. All mask is is kind of helps you delineate the different body panels. That's it. it. It doesn't really do anything. It has nothing to do with your car appearance. It's just a little visual cue for you on where the separate body panels are. And it just masks out the areas that aren't body panels. There you go. Number blocks. This is useful because that shows you where iRacing is going to drop its numbers. So if you want to put a backdrop uh, to your numbers, now you know where to set your box, your circle, or whatever it is. Um, like in iRacing, they put the little circles here. Uh, sponsor blocks. This is useless. That's only for in the game, not in the game, but in the web browser UI. When you customize your car and you pick sponsors, that's where they show up. Well, this skin doesn't show up in the web browser use UI. It only shows up in the game in runtime. And you're doing this so you can put your own sponsor stuff on there anyway. So that layer is totally useless. Um, car mandatory. Okay. This is stuff, and I'm pretty sure, stuff that it's going to render on its own anyway. So anything you paint in here, I don't think it matters. It's going to go ahead. This is all part of basically baked into the appearance of the car in iRacing. You can change it uh, in here, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't affect your car. Uh, so don't worry about stuff in the car mandatory section. The area that we do care about down here, the paintable area. I'm going to go ahead and, and next to the folder is a little triangle I can collapse. And the paintable area has a few neat things as well. All right, like car decals, which is obvious. Those are the stickers on the car. You can see, turn them on, turn them off. Color change logos. Okay, so these are the logos on the side of the car that change color, like with your color schemes and stuff. You know, you can keep the logos if you want, but you, you know, it's not going to show up again in the UI to color change inside of uh, the iRacing uh, browser uh, customizer. Banner. Okay, this is a good one. So this is at the top of your windshield, right? And there's two of them. One is the outside view. So right above the hood, right? That's what you're going to see from the external view of the car. The other one that's above the trunk, that's what you're going to see from inside the car looking out. And you can see they actually put kind of a faded Mazda reverse on here. So as you're looking out, you see that. Now, this one's not really as important because depending on how you sit in the car, you may not see it or where you're Roll cage falls, you may not see it. You're a stickler for details, edit it. Eh, if not, it's kind of optional. All right, cockpit color. I'm going to scroll down here. Uh, there is a little block down here at the bottom left. Turning it on and off, you can see that's the color um, that your cockpit is. So basically, the inside of your car is painted. And in the MX-5 case, it's also the roll cage color. Some uh, skins have different blocks for roll cage and cockpit. MX-5, it's all one. It's that block right there. Uh, and then pit box color. Uh, bottom right, I have no idea what this does. So if anybody knows, leave it in the comments. I never mess with it. And there you go. Car patterns. All right. So this is just for the in-game, you know, or in-game, sorry, in-browser UI where you pick the different patterns and color schemes. So these are the patterns and color schemes. And so inside the inside the web browser, this is what you're picking, you know, from. I don't care about those because I'm going to make my own pattern. And then base. That's the base color of your car. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, delete the car patterns. Yep, group and contents. Uh, pit box, cockpit color, I'm going to leave. Banner, I'm going to leave. I don't care about their logos. I'm going to put my own, so I'm going to delete that. Yes, and car decals, I don't care about because I'm going to put my own on there. Okay, and so typically when I edit, it looks something like this. Let me zoom back out. And a little quick tip for you, zooming in and out, double-clicking the hand tool basically fits the whole view to your screen. And double-clicking the magnifying glass tool sets it at 100% view, so you can kind of zoom in and see stuff. Double-click the hand tool. There we go. So when I edit, typically I'm looking at this, uh, the contour of all my paintable areas, usually masked off, and then, uh, you know, the, the paintable uh, layers here. And I, you know, add stuff and start changing colors. For example, if I go to the base, and uh, I think it's Alt-Delete, I can fill that with whatever my primary color is here. Uh, on the bottom left, and now that's the color of my car. If I want to, you know, paint stripes and things on the car, I can, you know, select an area and paint in the stripes. But that's really my next video. So in my next video, we're going to cover all the Photoshop tips and tricks to make painting easier inside of the car, because there's some tips and tricks that you can do this pretty quickly. So that's the next video. That's what's inside of the, the Photoshop file. Again, all that matters is what's inside of this green line because uh, that's all that's going to show up when you export.
That's it. Thanks.